Hello everyone. We will continue that topic PTE and we are covering how to implement a BTE. So we identified the BTE, we created the respective function module, we act, we have written the logic in the function module, we activated the function module and we created the product and we have activated the product also. Now, why we created the product? So that we can map our event, we can map our function module with the respective event and what the event we are using for the 20. So our next step is how, how we can go for mapping of the function module with the respective event. So same, I will go to FIPF transaction code. Everything. So this transaction code is a heart of this particular topic, kernel of this particular topic. Now, previously, when you created the product, you simply created using settings product of a customer. Now, what we need to do? Now, we need to map our function module with the respective event. So we will simply, simply go for process module. Just think how, how we are fulfilling our requirement. We are using process interface. Yes, we are not using publish and subscribe interface. If you are going for publish and subscribe interface, suppose you have a requirement of email sending, you are sending that data to external system, at that time, if you are going for publish and subscribe interface, then you need to go for this particular path. Now we are going for process module. We are changing the SAP standard process itself. So I will simply go for process module. And yes, for us, what is applicable? Customer, because we are working as a customer. So I will go for process module of a customer. Now, before that itself, I will show you one table. If you remember, when I created the product, before that itself, I showed you one table, TBE24, in that the products are getting stored. And it's a important understanding because these tables will help you to understand the flow at the last. Now, we have a table TPS34, PS34. So I will go for this particular table. In this table, we have the customer enhancement for the process BTE. As of now, we are going for what? Process BTE, suppose. If you are going for publish and subscribe interface, at that time you will go for settings, publish and subscribe interface of a customer. At that time, if you are putting the entries, it will go into this particular table, TBE34. The same, same to same naming conventions are there. Here we have the word BE. Here we have the word PS. And I mentioned that description also, publish and subscribe BTE, process BTE, and anyways, we are going for customer enhancement, yes. So I will go for this particular table because we are implementing process BTE. And the main thing is people, maximum people are confused between the terminologies itself. You just go for two terminology, Publish and subscribe interface, process interface. Publish and subscribe interface when we do not want to change the application data. Whenever you want to change the standard process of SAP, go for process BTE. And yes, now before that itself, I will show you this statement. Then I will put the entry. I will go to SC11 transaction code. This is that table and it is clearly saying process BTE customer enhancement. Yes, we are going for customer enhancements. 
I will go for contents. I will go to execute. And you can see three entries are here. And you are able to see same to same three entries here. If I will go for settings, process module of a customer. Three entries are here. Now I will create a new entry. I will go for new entry. Now, what is your event? Event means process. Which process you are using? If you remember which process we are using, we are using 1420 based upon our requirement. Now, I will simply, simply, the best way is you can go for F4 help and you can take 1420. I will scroll down. You can see 1420 with the help of description itself field modification to line item. So this is our event. This is our process. Now we will pass the name of the function module which you created. Now you will get step-by-step -step clarity. This is the Z function module which we created. As of now, it was an independent function module. There was no existence at all of this function module. Now we are mapping. Now, if I will map this and pass the name of your product, just go to F for help. It will show you your new product which you created. This is our new product. And I will simply, simply save now. Now, people will, many times people will ask, what is the purpose of this particular two fields? Okay, Man, if you want to go for country specific implementation, then you can pass the country specific code for which country you want to go for the implementation. And this is all about your application area. If you will go to F4 help, you can simply go for so many application areas. And it is these all things are provided by the customer itself. But if you do have a single country itself, then in that case, you can leave it blank. There's no problem at all. Yes. I will go for save. Now, this is the customizing request. If you remember, I created this customizing request. I will use this customizing request. And when I save, if you are able to see, I'm able to see that table TPS34, TPS. Now, if I will show you this table TPS34, now you can see we have an entry here for process 1420. This is the function module and this is the respective product. So what is the summary of this particular video? Again, in this video, we covered the most important point. These two steps are extremely important from the interview perspective because interviewer can judge based upon these two points only that you worked on BTE or not. Yes, firstly, we need to create the product. And yes, why we are creating the product so that we can map the function module with the respective event. When you created the product, the product stored into this particular table, this particular table TBE24. Now we need to map the function module with the respective event that is our 1420 in this case. So what the path we followed in this FIBF transaction code itself, we went for settings, process module of a customer. If you are going for publish and subscribe interface, then you need to go for PS module. Before that itself, I showed you this particular table TPS34. In this table, whatever we are mapping, we were, we were, we are mapping the function module with the event, the entry will go to this particular table. Or you can understand whatever the customer enhancement you will do, ultimately it will go to this table because we are mapping our function module and the entry is going into this particular table. So I pass this particular process. What is the process or event? Choose from the F for help. There'll be no mistake. Pass the function module, pass the product. 
Now, if you want to go for country specific implementation, or if you want to pass some specific application area, you can pass that also. Because just see, these three are in the read only mode. These three, these three, these three are in the read only mode. It means these three are the primary keys of that table. Just see here itself. If I will show you this table. In this table, we have three primary keys. What is process? Process interface. This is our process interface. Just see. This is our process interface. Then we have country. Then we have country. And then we have this particular application indicator. These three are acting as the primary key. So just think you can go for same to same process for different country and different application area also. So anyways, in our case, we are not going for any country or application. So I have not passed this particular thing. Now, in the next video, we will simply, simply understand the full flow in the debugging mode. That's why I covered this table. Because with the help of these tables, we will understand how SAP is picking our function module, how SAP is calling our logic, and we will understand all these things in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.